So our thread has a helical path. It's going to follow a helical path. So I need to make a helix inside SOLIDWORKS. The first step to doing that is to identifying the plane where you would like your helix to start. For me, that's on my worm gear start plane. I want my thread to start right here as a uniform thickness. So I'll click this plane and then go to new sketch. It mines automatically makes me normal to the sketch, but in this particular instance, I actually didn't want to be normal to the sketch. So now that I'm in a new sketch, I'm going to show you all a tool that we've just briefly covered, and this was very brief, but we'll cover it in more detail right now. It's called Convert Entities. It converts selected model edges or sketch entities into sketch segments. It's kind of like projecting geometry from another plane onto our current sketch plane. Let me demonstrate how to use it. So I'll click Convert Entities, and the, and the only thing we need to select is the entities that we want to convert. So I want a circle right here that has the same diameter as my main shaft. So what I can do is select an edge of my shaft, like this one. It has a, it has a diameter that I want. With that selected, I can hit the green check mark, and it, pro and it projects that edge onto the current plane that I'm sketching on. This is very useful for when we want to relate model geometry to other features in our part. For, a, for example, if my shaft diameter changes, now this circle will change with it, and therefore the diameter of my helix. This circle right here is defining the diameter of my helix. So now I'm going to go over to the Features tab, and we'll go into another new area called Curves, Curve Commands. Click the down arrow and click on Helix and Spiral. Now you'll notice automatically a helix starting to form. And on the left we get the Property Manager where we can define the parameters of our helix. So for one, it needs to be going to, to the right of our sketch plane, not the left. So you can click on Reverse Direction. And then we want to specify the height and the pitch. Now, I don't see any specification for height, so we need to change what our helix is defined by. Oh, I want it defined by height and pitch. So I'll click on height and pitch. I'll click on height and pitch, and I'll specify the height to be 1. And you'll notice that this is not really the height. It's the height based off the current sketch plane. So it's how far the helix is going to protrude out. So my gear width is 1 inch. I set my helix height to 1 inch. And it terminates at 1 inch. The next thing I want to specify is my pitch, which is going to be 0.25. So 0.25 you'll notice that that the distance between each revolution got a lot smaller. That's what the pitch is. It's the distance between each revolution. And also I want to change my start angle. I want my angle to I want my start angle to be 90 degrees. And what that pretty much is, it's it's where your helix starts. So you see how now my helix is starting at the very top of my shaft before it was at four it was at 45 which put it at 45 degrees from the top of my shaft but i want it to be 90 degrees finally here's where things get a little tricky we need to determine if we want our thread to be clockwise or counterclockwise for bolts and fasteners, this is easy. We want all of our bolts to be clockwise because righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. We want them to tighten in the clockwise motion. But this is worm gear threads. These are going to drive a driven gear. And how we want this to work is that is we want the driving to be the left. So the worm gear that's going to be on the bottom of of this thing, we want it to move 
in circular motion to the left. So, with our shaft position like this, we need we need our tilt we we need our tilt to be from right to left it's that that's going to mean it's going to put it's going to push it from right to to left but right now i i i can see that it's going from left to right on the side nearest to me it's going from left to right so i'll switch this to counterclockwise to change it from right to left now this on the side nearest me it's going right to left you can see if i if i if, if i spin this thing counterclockwise it's going to push to the left so i'll accept this and there is my helix this is going to be the path for the sweep that we do to sweep our thread profile along this helix